Hello, my wonderful Scorpios. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So as per usual, I will be starting off with an oracle and we can clarify the existing energies with tarot. Okay. Commitment. I want you to be a part of my future. Okay. Very interesting. It's interesting because it's coming out in a no contact spread here, but um, Scorpio, what I'm getting from this card, guys, is like, you know, I could be tapping into the energies of, you know, someone who, where, or, you know, you guys being in a higher level of commitment here, but it could also just be someone who is realizing that they do want, you know, you to be a part of their life. They do feel like their life is better with you in it. So it could be some sort of a realization um, because I am getting the uh, image of the tower card here, or it could be someone where like, they could be wanting to promise or like a promise, like make some sort of promise that they're able to follow through on, or they want to pick up the pieces and rebuild here. <clears throat> I, I don't know why I'm getting the energy of like renewing vows, but it seems to me that it's someone that you were committed to or someone that you have a lot of history with, but they want to actually, um, you know, commit to you again, but do it the right way, or they still feel the same way about you and they want you to know that. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to like, um, you know, renew vows with this person. But I think the reason why that term is coming through to me is it seems to me that it's someone who wants to tell you how they feel. They're starting to realize that you are who they want to commit to, or they still want to have, um, you know, access to you. They still want you to be a part of their life here like it's like they're starting to understand this connection or maybe the time apart that they've had you know um you know in this connection is making them realize you know what i do want a commitment or i am ready for a commitment okay so this person is definitely in deep thought about you this week let's see here For some of you, like you may have been very close to marriage or something could have happened uh, during like the process of uh, a relationship or maybe the uh, during the, um, you know, timeline of you guys like being engaged. Like there's something about a commitment coming through very strongly, but something else that's coming through is like a redo or like wanting to do something the correct way. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Okay, guys, <clears throat> so we have the six of pentacles on the bottom of the deck and we have the eight of pentacles. Yeah, this person wants to work on this connection, guys. I see it as someone who not only wants to reciprocate your energy, they want more balance. Now, like I said, I was getting this energy of like wanting to do something the right way. This person feels like they neglected the situation with you. So like even if you were in a commitment with this person, maybe they feel like they never really made time for you or the things that they were doing in the beginning of the connection, they did not maintain that energy throughout, uh, you know, the connection here. But mainly what I see here is someone who really wants to work on this connection. You know, pentacles is about practical effort and eight of pentacles could be slow effort, but someone who's chipping away at something daily so that they can prove to you, hey, I can reciprocate the energy or hey, we could restore balance in this connection here. It's like this person feels they did not take the situation as seriously as they should have, or they may feel like they were neglecting the situation with you or their efforts started decreasing. But then when it led to a separation, they, they, they're kind of realizing, okay, well, this is what I want. I want a commitment. I want, you know, Scorpio to be in my life. So I need to do something about it. I need to, you know, prove that to them is what I'm seeing here. So let's start off by seeing how they are viewing you. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> okay. Page of Swords. 
This person is definitely spying on you, I will say that, but the way that they're viewing you is like they could feel like you're very curious about them or you want to know what they're up to. You do have some sort of questions, but you're not in the most direct energy. So like it could quite literally be because, you know, this is a no contact spread or this person may feel like they know you have something to say or they know you want to ask them something. But again, this is more so about you trying to figure something out on your own. They may also view you in a very strategic energy, like you're not really showing um, how this is affecting you or you or they're not like your vulner, vulnerable side is not really visible to them. But what they're picking up or this is how they're viewing you. So it doesn't make it true, but they are viewing you as someone who's trying to figure something out on your own. So like whether this is like asking a friend, whether this is, um, you know, like you using your intuition to guide you through this, um, you know, bond here. But they feel like you're doing some sort of research. Now, this could be a past energy as well, guys. Like this person may be viewing you as someone who is able to figure something out through your intuition. Or you were able to figure something out. Like maybe you saw something online and ended <clears throat> ended upset you about this person, right? But they're they're focused on the fact that you're able to get to the bottom of a situation or figure things out on your own here. Okay. Um we have the Ten of Pentacles <clears throat> and the Sun card. Wow. In the challenge position. I don't really see that as a challenge. I kind of see that going hand in hand with the commitment card. Um, but if I were to read it in the challenge position, it would be someone who feels challenged because they want a commitment with you. And I know that doesn't really sound like it makes sense, but I guess the only way that could possibly make sense is because they're in a separation with you, but they're still thinking about coming together. So the sun card speaks about illumination um, and we did touch on the fact that this person feels more clear headed or they feel like they know what they want now and it and it is a commitment with you. Although I will say there's also this energy of them realizing how happy you make them. So this is someone who genuinely feels like my life is better with Scorpio in it. Like I look forward to speaking to Scorpio or every time something exciting happens in my life, I want to share it with Scorpio. And so this could be something that they're realizing now because they don't have access to you. There is a lot this person wants to tell you. I feel like since the both of you have not been speaking, there's a lot that they have been really wanting to tell you. This could be good news. This could be bad news. This could just be, it could be any kind of news, but they just want to confide in you. This is someone who really looks forward to, um, you know, connecting with you. And they may even feel like you're someone where they can like converse about anything with. So uh, some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Doesn't have to be. But I see it as someone who feels challenged this week because they want a commitment with you. But they're in. But instead, they're in a separation with you. Um, the way that you're viewing them, three of pentacles, you may be willing to work something out here. Three of pentacles. I wouldn't really say is a card of commitment, but it is a card of like coming to some sort of a mutual agreement. So the way that you're viewing them is like, you feel like you can see where things, um, uh, you, you can see how things could be positive between the both of you, or you feel like, yes, this person and I can actually work together as a team, but there are a few things we need to clear up. So there could be an energy of you wanting to clear the air or an energy of you wanting to or feeling like you can work with this person, but there needs to be some sort of like a practical plan in play. Um, but I more, more so see it as you're viewing them as let's have a conversation. Let's come to some sort of a mutual agreement. So some of you may not be ready for a commitment yet or you or you feel like the first step is genuinely just clearing the air. That's how it's coming through to me. Um, in your feeling six of cups, you're really missing this person. I think that something about this connection makes you feel very nostalgic or it reminds you of your childhood. So um, you may have known this person from child, uh, for, since your childhood doesn't have to be the case. Or it could be that, you know, this person, they feel like a safe space to you. You feel like, you know, you could just be yourself around them. Maybe you feel like no other connection that you've dabbled in feels the same as this connection here. Um, but with the Six of Cups, I will say, not only is there this energy of missing, I think that you're feeling very nostalgic about this person this week, where you are maybe being reminded of the, uh, um, you know, places that you guys used to hang out at, or you're being reminded of uh, the memories that, you know, you guys share together. So I do see that. Two of Swords. Yeah, you definitely have some sort of questions, right? Even with the Three of Pentacles, I was picking up on the energy of you wanting to clear the air. 
with the two of swords, I think you have a lot of questions for this person because um, the curiosity or what you were wondering about this individual, you had to figure out on your own with that page of swords energy. So maybe there's this, um, you're, you're kind of feeling like I want more direct communication from you or I want the answers from this person. Two of Swords could speak about something that you're not seeing clearly, but it boils down to being in between worlds. So this is why I did say you may be open for a conversation, but you're not sure if you're ready for a commitment as of yet. Maybe that is a decision you'll make when the air is cleared, when your questions are answered. Um, we have the Wheel of Fortune in your feelings, and we have the Chariot as well as the Eight of Cups that wanted to flip out. Wanting to move away from some sort of hurt. Eight of Cups in your feelings could speak about like feel, a feeling like you need to walk away from this situation or you're being reminded of why you walked away. That could be the reason why you're in between worlds where it's like, yes, I do miss you, but I still remember why I walked away or why there was a separation. So it's like you're trying to be realistic. It's like it's okay for me to miss you, but... I also am aware of what was not working in this commitment. So I'm not going to be delusional. I'm still going to accept the reality of the situation. Um, so not only are you being reminded of why you walked away, I think that you're kind of in between worlds. It's like, I do miss you. I do want to have a conversation, but this is what did not work in the past. So are we actually able to overcome this or you know, um, are we going to end up at square one? And with the chariot and the wheel of fortune, I think that for many of you, if it's not about you being reminded of why you walked away, you're really ready to uh, close the emotional gap. You're really ready for the separation to be over because the wheel of fortune and the chariot could be progress where, you know, you want things to work out in your favor, but the chariot could be progress after a period of stagnation. So maybe you're like, okay, you know, we there there is a separation or we are in a separation and this is what didn't work, but I'm so tired of the stagnant energy or I'm so tired of um, just being in silence. So even if it's not you're ready for a commitment, maybe you're just ready for a conversation. You know, you don't want things to end the way that they have or um, you don't want to constantly be thinking about the situation and feeling like it's at a standstill. So some of you are just really ready for some sort of progress um, because the stuck energy could be rubbing you the wrong way. So we have the death card clarifying the ten of pentacles and we have the nine of wands. I will say that this person may view you as someone who has set very clear boundaries and th as much as they could be feeling exhausted, there's also a part of them that really wants to fight for this connection. It's like they want to fight for this connection, but they're aware that it's not going to be easy. They're still on the fence in terms of like feeling a bit guarded or, or, or fearing your response, not really knowing what the future holds. But I do see it as someone who wants to fight for this connection. Death card and the Ten of Pentacles, I don't really see it as... Um, someone who is putting an end to a commitment. I see it as someone where they've had a realization, realization or a change of mind. You know, especially with the commitment card as well. It's like, it, it's almost like they know what they want now or they feel a lot more clear about where this connection is headed. And because of that clarity, they want to work on this connection with you. This is why I was getting that energy of someone who's like, okay, I want to do something the right way this time around. Because obviously, if I can't stop thinking about a commitment or if I can't stop thinking about Scorpio, it's still affecting me. We have the Seven of Cups in their feelings and we have the King of Cups. They're confused about how you feel. King of Cups is your energy. I mean, you could be dealing with another water sign, but in their feelings with the Seven of Cups and the King of Cups, they know they have feelings for you, but they're not sure where this connection is headed. They know they want a commitment with you, but they don't know how you feel about that. So it could really just be because you guys are not communicating and that's why they don't know how you feel. Or they may feel like um, they, they sense that you do, you do not want a commitment as much as you used to, or you are not invested in this situation as much as you once were. And we do have the eight of cups in your feelings and the two of swords. So there seems to be a little bit of uncertainty in your feelings in terms of like, do I want to try again? Do I want to give this person another chance? Do I still believe in this connection? But with the seven of cups and king of cups in their feelings, it's like, I love Scorpio. I know that I want a commitment, but do they want the same thing? I'm ready for a change, but are they going to believe that I'm ready for a change? The lovers, yeah, they're very, they still feel very, very connected to you and the queen of wands. Not only do I think um, that this is someone who feels very connected to you, I think that this time apart has made them realize that their emotions have only um, become stronger towards you with that lover's. Um, card here. And with the Queen of Wands, I will say that 
there could be a little bit of an intimidation factor here. They are viewing you as someone who has your mind made up, someone who is very feeling very confident and bold here. Um, but I will say, guys, like with the lovers and the queen of wands, this could also be a connection where there was a lot of passion. And it doesn't have to be that it started off lighthearted, but it seems to me that it's someone who feels like they have a great time with you. They have a lot of fun with you, but they did not take the connection as seriously as they could have. And that's where they want the change now. So we have the Six of Swords and the Hanged Man in the potential outcome. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces, Nine of Cups clarifying the Six of Swords and Ace of Cups. Like I said, a new beginning in in um, when it comes to this uh, bond here. This person wants a new beginning with you because they feel more ready for a commitment. Do I think it took them a while to think about it? Absolutely, with the Hanged Man. That could be the reason why you are very tired of the standstill energy. But Six of Swords and Nine of Cups is someone moving towards wish fulfillment. You are their wish fulfillment. They're moving towards you. They're ready to make you know peace with you, peace with the situation here. Do I think they have... They're a little bit confused about how you will respond. Do I think that they, uh, yes. Do I think that they are a little bit um, confused when it comes to putting a finger on how you feel? Absolutely. And I do even think there's a little bit of fear, kind of like, well, what if Scorpio doesn't want the same thing that I want? But I don't think that's going to stop them from trying. Okay, so let's see what they want to communicate to you. Look at this, guys. I am afraid to contact you. They really want to speak to you, but it could be that there's a standstill energy because they're like, what is Scorpio going to say? And, you know, I think this person is so determined to be in a commitment with you or they feel so, so much more um, confident in being in a commitment and feeling ready for that, that maybe if you were to say no or maybe if you were to reject them, it would really um, tear them apart. So it could be someone who is fearing rejection. Or just fearing like your response and how you will receive what they're going to say. It says, I left when I saw you with someone. So this could be for a select few of you. This could be someone who's assuming that you're in another connection. It doesn't have to be that they quite literally saw you somewhere. You were the best thing in my life. Yep. And that's why they want to be in a commitment with you. I definitely see it as I want to do this the right way. I want to tell you how I feel. Yeah, and that's that Ace of Cups energy also. Just being open and honest about how they feel and what they want moving forward. Bottom of the deck, I want you. So need I say more here? So my wonderful Scorpios, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.